my goodness hey my audience how are you has been some time so i i'm actually from the hospital right now so your girl just like arrived and started recording because i knew how much if i start doing anything eating or whatever whatsoever nature possibilities of me recording are so low so i just made myself justice i was like straightforward rejoice just record so i literally had your voices your requests that please can you at least do a vlog indicating your day as um you move around your rotations as a final year student and i don't know where y'all had that i'm a final year student but anyways maybe i didn't mention i forgot but today the weather was not weathering when i tell you it started snowing it has been snowing today was just a disaster of a day and i don't know where i got the energy to actually like literally fulfill this promise that i've been requested to do and whatsoever it wasn't very easy for me to vlog in the hospital guys it's not easy actually it's not permitted but uh, i was just being sneaky to get you guys content you understand what i mean so i've been risking my life just for you guys to get content that's how far i went to so as you see me right now the girls with a bare face i'm straight from the hospital guys understand the days to look cute and the days to sh just to look natural so i'm rocking my natural face today so yeah y'all will get it as you can see the weather it gets dimmer so i hope y'all are able to see me and it's clear enough Without wasting time, I literally don't want me to do this as a chit chat, but to be a vlog. And the few questions that I'm going to select of some individuals who actually really sent me a few questions in my media platform, especially my Facebook. So I'm going to pick some, not all, because if I take all, it's going to be all day. So I'm going to take some, which I feel like that the main core questions to actually tackle. So, um, yeah, I hope you literally enjoy my vlog. I'm not a person who likes talking too much because if I do, I know that I personally am very impatient to listen. I'm very impatient. So I wanted to be brief and straight to the point. And I hope you enjoy it. Guys, I'm really grateful to all my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for yours, what you're doing for me. You keep on like our YouTube platform is literally expanding time and time. I don't know. And I would, I would also like to appreciate myself for putting effort and alone i'm with my laptop here so the reason why i'm with it is because i'm carrying your question questions here more especially those coming from my country Botswana. so i'm gonna actually open those questions i'm gonna pick a few not all because we're gonna be here all day if i take majority of your questions and usually they're coming from individuals who would like to study medicine my program here or individuals who want to study to know the feeling of how it is it is to study in my city so i don't know so the first one i won't reveal the person's name but i'll just get the question right so these were coming from mainly from my facebook page that's the questions i've been getting from uh getting yeah from so the first question literally is um hey rejoice how are you it has been a long time you have actually traveled abroad for your studies and how it, it how are your studies going so far so literally with this one i would just say um having uh it's mixed emotions and i feel like this one is a video for another day to showcase or to like illustrate like how my journey has been from first year till now so it's a huge huge or general question if that makes sense so another question which i'll pick is um uh it seems like medicine is doing well for you can you give a girl some tips on how they can actually go about it so what i can say is um usually like be open-minded and actually around these times i think june july is the application times for putting your um your documents for processings as well as to try your luck so i use an agency called rakus i've said this before i think in my previous videos r-a-c-u-s is a russia agency from my country botswana so that's the one i used i actually consulted from that office however 
i'll try and find that description i don't know if it, they still exist in the same office or whatever but if i do get the details i'll try and pin them to my description box below and another question says um girl when are you coming back i'm coming back this coming uh, academic year 2025 is actually my grad year so yeah so that's the year i'll be completing my studies and i'll see where god put me towards as as my life unravels or going to the next chapter so another question says uh do you ever miss your family it has been some time you have been away oh absolutely true i do miss my family however i come from a small family of four and we are in different geographical locations if you understand what i mean so like i can't go into details but what i can say is um i do f miss that family union that i had from earlyhood but however life takes its you know it takes its directions and here i am and my brother's in a different city my dad is in a different area my mom is in a, in a different area so that's how it is but however we try as much to find family time where we actually communicate uh with time given the time different time zones that we have so the other thing is oh i, I have heard that your younger brother also studies in russia and can you kindly greet your brother for me or oh, absolutely i will and how is he coping are you guys in the same uh city or you're in different cities honestly we're in different cities i am in astrakhan city he is in kursk city making my way to the hospital right now and uh this time around the time was around 8 a.m no actually 9 a.m because um usually i arrive into the hospital when it's about like 20 minutes to 9 a.m so i'm taking you through right now we are entering through the entrance as you can see and um the weather wasn't very um pleasing it was quiet windy at the same time it was a bit cold it's winter seasons as you can see patients dressed in heavy coats so here is me walking by and walking towards um the building which i am actually going to have to change uh, my outfit into my medical clothing so yeah it was literally quiet um it was windy it was really windy as you can see uh but however um we continue with the day so this was a um a bubbly i'll say um cheerful morning to start and actually mornings are my favorite because these are the times which i'm quite quite uh active early in the morning to start up my day <laughs> taking you through my bag so those are my clothes that i wore and this is my hand lotion it's winter season you really need a hand lotion to moisten your hands and that is my surgical mask it's a requirement to actually have it and those are my shoe covers i wear them with my crocs so yeah and um over that is my um clothes that i did mention that i changed from and that is my small notepad in blue which i jot in my short notes um as i come from like the patient's room consultation or like my teacher's notes and then that is my plastic bag i put my crocs in as well as shoes i came in with so here i'm with the ladies we are actually taking off it was such a rush hour morning as you can see we are in a rush and honestly we were working with time at this point 
because we're trying to meet up the time as i said starting uh the day at 9 a.m so we are actually going with our instructor at this point so we really had to be on the rush and as, as i tell you there was no room for actually any delay because um our lecturer is both um a surgeon and at the same time a lecturer so we literally had to meet up his time to be there on time with him so that we can quickly quickly go through uh the teaching material for the day um as he would actually at the same time preparing for his surgeries for the day so at this point i'm rushing with my colleagues my classmates we are on the move to actually get the time that I've actually compiled as well as uh, preparation for the new concept that we would be discussing with our lecture today. So I was literally just going through my work and actually doing some touch-ups there and there, recapping, reinforcing the knowledge and understanding the concept of the day. As you can see, so Usually my mind uh, captures like early as I said and onwards it's just application of what I just learned so it would be just more easier for me to understand when my lecturer actually starts teaching. <music> Vlogging in a hospital is not easy as you can see. So yeah, this is my outfit. I shouldn't fall guys. I'm on the staircases 
this is these are my scraps that inevitably cannot see them properly and i rolled a little bun with my little cute uh baby hair so yeah so this is how i look the outfit for the day so yeah we're gonna continue and see how far i can actually carry on with this vlog hope you enjoy it at this point we are on a class mini break so i was with my friend and we actually went to like go for to check out coffees and usually i'm a coffee latte girl or a chocolate girl um those are my flavors but this very morning i was not content with getting coffee so as i said from what i just I said a few minutes back um in this vlog i'm very mindful and cautious of people's identities as well as showing faces so i literally tried by heart not to show such but however if you're more careful i was literally taking the back view oh, this, these are the floors second attach Odelia. okay Mm -hmm. Oh, it's quite cold a little bit. It's far. That gate, that gate is far. You walk You can actually see it from my face that the girl was tired. My eyes were just like saying a lot that I literally did not have enough rest. I did not have enough sleep. So I just was just tired. The girl was just not having it.
I told you that in our country uh, we should provide surgery in specialized hospitals and uh, doctors who studied oncology and specialized as oncologists can be a chemotherapist, radiotherapist and surgeon. In Western medicine, oncologist is only chemotherapist. Surgery is provided by common surgeons. But uh, oncological surgery has uh, some specialities. For example, we should know about lymphatic nodes, which should be removed in obligatory way uh, when we provide radical surgery treatment. Surgical treatment, I'm sorry. Uh, so what about stomach? A few words for anatomy. Uh, stomach is uh, supplied by blood from blood, uh, blood yeah. from few vessels. Here we can see our tongue. It's truncus celiacus, which uh, gives left gastric artery, splenic artery, and common hepatic artery. Splenic artery goes to spleen, mm -hmm. and it gives uh, short gastric branches. Besides the uh, common hepatic artery gives pancreatic duodenal artery uh, superior, which uh, then gives uh, right artery gastrodeploica. Mm -hmm. Besides that, uh, after this, uh, common hepatic artery is named uh, arteria hepatica propria. It gives uh, uh, right hepatic artery. So, um, besides that, we have uh, <coughs> a left gastrodeploic artery as a branch of spleen.
this was my afternoon lecture. When I tell you that this kind of lectures are somehow, at this point, my concentration level was zero. Zero, zero, zero. We are actually doing um discussion about different slides of, as you can see, of um ultrasound ultrasound scan so we're actually like um discussing what we are visualizing in such visuals uh given that you are interpreting the graph the graphs so as it being an evening lecture majority we're very agitated and we're coming from immense intense day now right here it was the following day day two if i may say we were working with our lecturer towards the main hall or just say towards the main lecture room and we were actually going for like discussion yet again for the material that we have been uh, studying throughout the course of our cycle and when i tell you that our lecturer was very is a very informative uh, lecturer because as i did say before he actually works with surgeries at the same time but he literally dedicated time for us to literally take us through and also he literally equipped us with the basic tools that are necessary for you to be a surgeon and i literally built interest and um this changed my perspective on how i see medicine on how i visualize um the coursework of being a medical doctor as he had truly not only academically equipped us but also gave us the life tools uh, in accordance with his experience of what it is being a surgeon and from that on I literally took um, a mission that being a doctor is a whole different sphere. day for my cycle oncology i hope you actually liked the vlog so i'm gonna close it here and i really 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 tried to actually get some content for you guys in this hospital it's two parts there's the previous hospital and this one so i hope you have enjoyed the whole vlog and i'll say to you guys if you still want more or should i you know what should add what should i add and what should i subtract with that being said i'm going to close it here and with this to be said god bless don't forget to subscribe <laughs>